Hey everyone, this is Ben from Explore Informed, and today we're going to try to answer the question, how do online travel agencies, or OTAs for short, like Expedia or Booking.com, make money? In our very first episode, we looked at whether booking a package vacation on Expedia actually saves you money over booking each component of your trip individually, like your flights or your hotel. And we found that generally there are savings to be had in a package deal. So if online travel agencies like Expedia are selling you a package deal that is often cheaper than the components being offered directly by the airline or the hotel chain, how exactly do they as companies make their money? And the long and short of it is there are three primary business models that they employ. First, the merchant model, in which the OTA purchases hotel rooms or another type of booking in advance at a discount and then turns around and sells that back to you and me at a higher price. Second is the agency model in which an OTA acts as a salesperson basically and facilitates a booking between a hotel, airline, or other travel supplier and the customer and in return receives a commission or fee in exchange for helping to sell that booking. Thirdly, OTAs make money from advertising to the millions of visitors using their services or from subsidiaries like home sharing companies or restaurant reservation platforms. So let's now take a closer look at two OTAs in particular and talk about those three business models. So welcome back to Explore Informed, where we dig into the details of travel. So the next time you go exploring, you can go a little bit better informed. Today we're trying to answer the question, how do online travel agencies make money? And to do that, we're going to look at two such agencies, Expedia Group and Booking Holdings. So first, let's review who we're talking about when we say Expedia Group and Booking Holdings. Depending on what part of the world you live in, you may be more familiar with one over the other. But Expedia Group and Booking Holdings both maintain a portfolio of other companies, and together they and their respective holdings make up a huge chunk of the online travel market. Expedia Group includes Expedia, Hotels.com, Trivago, HomeAway, VRBO, Orbitz, Travelocity, Hotwire, and several others. And the portfolio of Booking Holdings is a little smaller, but is no less punchy, and maybe is even more punchy, and includes Booking.com, Kayak, Priceline, Agoda, Rentalcars.com, and OpenTable. So let's jump into how these companies make money through the different business models and then look at how they compare to one another. Both Expedia and Booking have three main channels through which they generate revenue. As mentioned a moment ago, these include the merchant model, the agency model, and then advertising and other revenue. In the merchant model, the OTA purchases hotel rooms or another type of booking in advance at a discount and then turns around and sells them over time at a higher price. So consider this example. Pretend Expedia uses their purchasing power to book a block of 50 rooms at a popular resort for $100 per night, while the current market rate sits at around $150 per night. So they are getting a volume discount because they are booking 50 rooms at a time. Then Expedia resells the rooms over time at a higher rate, say like $135, but that rate is still lower than the current market rate, which we will say has now risen to $170 since Expedia first booked the 50 room block. Essentially, Expedia has made money by selling these rooms at a higher rate than they purchased them for, but also presented a savings to the customer over the current market rate. So the OTA buys a block of hotel rooms directly themselves, holds them for some time, and then is paid directly themselves by the customer. The customer is not paying the hotel. And Expedia will also employ the merchant model with airline tickets or rental cars, and then combine the different bookings to offer an attractive vacation package with built-in savings over booking the components independently. Expedia has noted in their most recent 10K report that package vacations primarily include a hotel component, the most common type of merchant model transaction for Expedia, and then either an air or car component. And Expedia also noted that it is the use of the merchant model itself that enables Expedia to sell packages at a lower price than the individual components of the trip. Now, the agency model is quite a bit different, but it's fairly simple. In the agency model, the OTA is more like a passer of sorts and never collects the customer's money. They are rather helping to facilitate a booking of a hotel room, rental car, or airline ticket. For example, the customer will make their hotel booking on Booking.com. Booking will then pass that reservation to the hotel. And then the hotel will pay a commission back to booking.com. Most often they'll do that around the time that the customer completes their travel for that booking. But at no point in the process will booking.com see the customer's money themselves. In booking.com's 2018 10K, they explain that most all of their agency revenues come from these commission payments, but there are also some booking and insurance fees as well. Further, almost all of the agency revenue for booking holdings comes from one source, 
Booking.com, but they have seen recent growth from Agoda in international markets such as Asia, Agoda being one of their growing platforms largely focused on accommodations. And in the third and final bucket, we have advertising and other revenue, which does vary a bit between the different OTAs based on the different types of businesses they own and the acquisitions they have completed. For Expedia, they appear to sell a lot of their advertising to both travel and non-travel companies on their Trivago platform, which is a price comparison platform focused on the hotel market. And another of Expedia's other revenue sources is HomeAway, their vacation rental and home sharing platform that also includes VRBO. Expedia earns both per transaction commissions as well as service fees through HomeAway. For booking holdings, they earn advertising revenue on their various platforms, but also generate referral fees through Kayak, a large travel meta search engine, when they point or direct a customer to another platform to make a booking, like a hotel or airline website. And further, as Booking owns OpenTable, the popular restaurant reservation platform, they also get to collect revenue from the various services and fees on that platform. So now that we have a feel for how these businesses operate and generate revenue, let's look at how Expedia Group and Booking Holdings compare to one another across the three major business models. Despite having a smaller brand portfolio, Booking makes better use of their assets and actually generates more revenue than Expedia, with Booking bringing in over $14.5 billion in 2018, compared to $11 billion for Expedia. In the various financial markets, we tend to agree with that assessment, as Booking's market cap, or the total value of their stock, is four times that of Expedia. Looking at the more micro level, Expedia's highest revenue channel is the merchant model, and they double the revenue of Booking in that specific segment. However, Booking is bringing in over $10 billion a year through their agency model alone, again coming largely through Booking.com, while Expedia only brought in $3 billion in revenue in 2018 through the agency model. In the advertising and other segments, Expedia is doing more here in large part due to Homeway and presumably VRBO, who brought in over $1 billion in 2018. Overall though, I think Booking.com takes the cake with a higher revenue and much higher value on the street. Now a few other interesting stats for Expedia. Most of the revenue, 8 of $11 billion, is coming from the core online travel agency businesses, but the highest growth areas revenue-wise appear to be Homeway, followed by Agencia, which is a corporate travel manager. Notably though, Travago's revenue appeared to decrease year over year between 2017 and 2018. And if we look at the revenue by service type, as expected, lodging is the highest revenue area, accounting for seven of the $11 billion. Now that level of detail was a little bit harder to tease out of Booking's 10K, but Booking does follow a similar pattern as Expedia, with an overwhelming majority of their bookings and business coming from lodging. Now I'm not quite sure if these numbers qualify as an apples to apples comparison, but Booking sold over 10 room nights for every one rental car day, and 10 rental car days for every one airline ticket. So make of that what you wish. But that is all for this show. Admittedly, I myself learned a ton doing the reading and research this video, and I hope this gave you a little bit of insight into the inner workings of today's online travel agencies. As a bit of a disclaimer or a warning though, I am not a subject matter expert in the area of hospitality, nor am I a Wall Street analyst covering the travel businesses. Most likely, I am just like you, an enthusiastic traveler who is curious about how things work. So if you have a comment, question, or importantly, a correction, please, please feel free to comment below. And don't forget, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Explore Informed. And hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of our future content. Thank you all for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.